Hello, I'm Chris Matthew, the Director of Business Development for Voxeo Labs, the makers of Tropo and Phono. Hey, so listen, about a month ago, I republished this blog post from Dominic Boucher, who did an excellent job at writing and covering a, uh, an XMPP-based IM chat client that runs on Phono SDK. So that was just one of the features, you know, so Phono, you can place calls, receive calls, and with Dominic's help, he walked through a step-by-step -step example of how to do instant messaging chat. Since it's all XMPP, you know, you can talk directly to Jabber and Gtalk clients right from your browser without, with, with jQuery. So there's no heavy lifting of, of dealing with anything related to XMPP. So uh, I'll put the link to this in the blog post, but, um, after I published that, uh, Justin Dupree, our all-star technical writer uh, and evangelist, he had a cool idea. Um, he said, well, could you do like IM to SMS? I was thinking, that is pretty cool. You know, I haven't seen anything out there that does that. So um, I had uh, about an hour this morning uh, available in between meetings. So I said, why not? I'm going to hack something together for Justin and... Uh, so it is highly inspired by Dominic's uh, code base, and I'll show you how it works. But um, I added some tropo scripting uh, to basically uh, be the the middleman between instant messaging and SMS, and I'll show you how that works, uh, where you can actually have a conversation from an IAM client using Phono SDK with, I'd say probably 20 lines of JavaScript code, and um, and it sends and receives to SMS messages. So I added a box here at the top of the screen where you can add your phone number, uh, your, your mobile device number there, and then you can just start typing here. So you can say, uh, uh, let's see, like, what's for lunch? So what I did there, I, have, I told it to send it to my phone number, that, that message. There it goes. So I just got a message right there. It says, what's for lunch? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and respond. I'm going to say, yum, lobster sounds good. <laughs> so I want to watch. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to see if I can see this in the thing. So it says, yum, lobster sounds good. So I'm going to hit the send button. Watch how fast this is from SMS back through Tropo going instant messaging to uh, Phono SDK in your browser. Watch this. Got to hit the send button. There it goes. So it's sending. Payao! Look at that. It's in the browser. That is awesome. So I mean, you can go back and forth. You can say, uh, okay, let's go. Watch this. Let me turn my ringer on here. Yeah. <laughs> Is that cool or what? So, I mean, you could probably turn this into a whole business with, you know, an hour worth of code there, an SMS and IM chat client. Uh, so let me show you a little bit how it works. Um, so if you look at uh, Dominic's post, the HTML side of this looks just about the same, except that I added a text box for SMS number. And on the instant messaging, uh, the im.js file, I'll post I'll post this in the uh, the blog. Um, but basically, I added a couple of lines of code where. It, it attaches the, um, here it is, so it attaches the, kind of concatenates the, the JID, which is basically the, the Phono uh, session ID, with the, uh, the SMS phone number. So my ID is basically the uh, session ID up here, uh, colon, SMS phone number value using jQuery, colon, the message. And so basically it sends that to imsms at tropo.im. And when we look at 
my Tropo app, all I did was I, I attached a Jabber um, uh, client and I created one called IMSMS at Tropo.im. So basically it's the relay that's sending and receiving uh, XMPP based IM messages into uh, my Tropo script. This is all using scripting API, so I didn't have to host this anywhere. Uh, let's see. And then when you look at the uh, Tropo app, I needed some type of persistence to know what the uh, JID, the session ID was. So uh, I've been looking for an excuse to get into Couch. So um, I just attached to a, a hosted Couch database at uh, couch1.com. And as you can see from here, I'm just writing the current JID that I'm communicating with to couch1.com and uh, basically doing all my persistence through a hosted version of Couch uh, right into uh, the Tropo scripting API. And um, pretty straightforward. Basically it says um, if, if a call, if a data, if a, a instant initial text comes in and it's got colons in it, split the data up, JID, SMS number, message, and then it says if if the uh, JID includes the word phono.com, so which we need to tell between an instant message versus an SMS. This is the way I did it. Um, it basically just posts to um, to the Couch database uh, what the current JID is based on my uh, my JSON walking through my JSON, and uh, if and then it sends the SMS message to the number in the field. If it's an SMS that comes in, it calls the Couch database in the cloud and gets the current JIT it needs to talk to, and then it does a, another message, but instead of network equals SMS, it says network equals Jabber, passes the JID of the phono client. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I, this stuff just never ceases to amaze me what you can do with, uh, with Voxeo technology. Uh, a little bit of Tropo, a little bit of Phono equals new multi-million dollar business opportunity. So go have at it. Hack on, my friend. Hack on.